Hey Canucks fans, it is Canucks game day. Canucks host the Red Wings and Spencer Martin has been placed on waivers, signaling the pending return of Thatcher Demko. I'm Canuck Clay and this is my Canucks take all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Monday, February the 13th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely and trustworthy. Thanks to everyone who joined me last night. A lot of fun on my live stream. You can tell I'm not 100%, but I'm getting a lot better, certainly sounding a lot better than I did last night. Thanks to everyone for uh, suffering through that hour with me. And tonight, likely still want to rest my voice a little bit. Not sure why I'm making these videos, but I still want to rest my voice in advance of my trip to Dallas later this week to MC a youth conference. So I will do Canucks After Dark with Parker, likely. We're still trying to figure out the timing because I'm going to the game tonight and likely won't be doing my own live stream. So make sure you you stay tuned to my um, my community page so I can I can let you know what's happening tonight. And if you're at the game tonight, Canucks Red Wings, second intermission, going to be meeting some fans. So if you want to meet me and want to say hello, have a quick chat, second intermission on the concourse outside of Section 317. That's where I'll be. Second intermission outside Section 317 on the concourse. Hope to see you there. Now, Spencer Martin will be backing up Colin Dillia tonight as the Canucks play their back-to-back -back against the Red Wings. They lost to Detroit 5-2 on Saturday. But it Spencer Martin was also placed on waivers today. And it was a necessity because Thatcher Demko, we know that he's been getting ready to come back. He got hurt back on December 1st. They said it was going to be six weeks. Now it's been nine weeks, and now he's about ready to... Uh, ten weeks, actually, technically. So now he's ready to come back. He could probably start as early as Wednesday um, when the Canucks host the Rangers. So if that's the case, you have to make room for him on your roster. You can have two goalies on your roster. So the Canucks place Spencer Martin on waivers. And that means if he gets through waivers, then he will be assigned to Abbotsford. And then a roster spot opens up from a goaltender's perspective. And then you can put Thatcher Demko on the roster and he can as early as tomorrow. Waivers is a 24-hour process. Um, teams have an opportunity to pick up Spencer Martin and his contract. It's not like you just get the player. You have to take his contract as well. And it goes in reverse order of standings. So whoever is 32nd in the league, they get the first shot, followed by 31st, so on and so forth, all the way up. So there's a lot of rumors that the Ottawa Senators may look at getting Spencer Martin, considering that Anton Forsberg is out. I, I think he hurt both of his knees, which is pretty scary, but he's out, he can be out for the rest of the season and um, with that unfortunate injury. So perhaps it's it's Ottawa that might take a look at Spencer Martin. Remember Martin signed that two-year contract in the summer, paying him not a lot of money. So he'd be a, a good, cheap alternative for a team that, um, I don't want to say doesn't have any playoff aspirations, but Spencer Martin has had a really tough season. I think he's lost 10 straight now. I believe he's the, him and... Michael Nerverth have been the only two goalies in the past 20 years to lose 10 straight uh, regulation games. I think that's the stat. But uh, all I know, it's pretty bad. And uh, it, it's really unfortunate because you guys know how much I like Spencer Martin. You guys know how much I in enjoyed meeting him at the golf tournament where we joked around about how loud his pads were, where he uh, confessed or admitted to or proclaimed that he watches some of my videos. So, Spencer, I'm not sure if you're watching this one, but I wish you luck. I... I on one hand, I hope you get claimed so you get a chance to play in the NHL. It's funny, I'm talking to him. But <laughs> on one hand, I hope you get claimed so you get a chance to play in the NHL. On the other hand, I hope you don't get claimed so then you stay within the Canucks system. But you guys, that was the, that was the, the I guess, the danger when Demko went down and you had to call up Colin Dillia because Dillia and Martin have played enough games, they're old enough, where they don't, they're not waiver exempt anymore. So you can't simply uh, ship them up and down to and from the way uh, to Abbotsford anymore uh, without uh, the the risk of losing them the waiver. So it's going to be one or the other. And Colin Delia has outperformed Spencer Martin this season. And especially since Rick, Rick Tockett has got here. And you got to remember Rick Tockett's perspective. He's trying to win games. He's trying to see, you know, which goaltender gives him more confidence. And I think it's safe to say in the seven games that Tockett's been here that uh, Delia has outplayed Martin. So no surprise if if that's the case. Um, obviously, the Canucks are hoping that Martin doesn't get claimed because it's not like they're trying to get rid of a big contract. No, and then Martin can can work with Seelovs 
down in Abbotsford as they prepare for a playoff run. So whatever it may be, uh, we will find out by 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. Um, just uh, we'll find out if anyone has claimed Spencer Martin. Let's look at um, let's look keep an eye on the Ottawa Senators to see if they put that claim in. Now let's flip it over to that. By the way, so Colin Delia starts tonight, and then Spencer Martin will back him up, and that's normal. He's still on, on the NHL roster until tomorrow. Same thing happened with Lane Peterson, where Lane Peterson was was skating on the first line with Pedersen at practice, and then it was announced he was on waivers, and people were like, "Well, how's that possible?" That's because the waivers don't, um, the transaction doesn't take place until tomorrow. So Delia and Net Martin backing him up. Now, Thatcher Demko. I know a lot of people on my stream last night were saying, well, why not just sit him out for the rest of the year? Or why not make sure, absolutely sure, that he's 100% healthy before you bring him in? And if that means the Canucks lose a few more games or have a, a, a less chance of winning some games because you don't have Demko in net, uh, then so be it. I'm not sure if they made that annoying sound, uh, but they were having that thinking. But obviously, Talkit wants to win games. Demko, and I'm sure his agent by extension, but Demko wants to get in the games and wants to make sure he gets he plays the last two months of the season so he doesn't he can kind of erase the stench of his horrible start to the year where he only won three games in over a dozen starts. So I predict uh, Demko to, to be in the net at least on Wednesday, if not on, um, I think Saturday is the next game after that, right? It goes, it goes Red Wings tonight. It goes Rangers on Wednesday. And then it goes Philly on Saturday. No, there's a game on Thursday in between them. I'm missing one. Or maybe that's the one. Regardless, we'll see if um, if Demko gets in this week. But given that uh, Spencer Martin has been placed on waivers, I expect to see Demko as early as Wednesday if he gets a good day of practice in tomorrow. So Canucks fans, let me know a few things. Let me know what you think. Are you surprised that it's Spencer Martin and not Colin Delia that's being sent down? Do you think that Martin will be picked up on waivers? And give me a score prediction. I'm going to the game. I'm in a good mood. I'm getting healthy. I think I, I'm going. I'm going to go away from four two. I'm going to go three uh, one Canucks. Yeah, I don't know why. I think they're only going to allow one goal, but I, I'm going to go three one Canucks. Maybe Delia plays really well to show that he was the right choice. I don't know, but I'm going to go three one Canucks. It's just a hunch I have. I might be right on, or I might be completely wrong, like I have been for about ninety eight percent of this season. So, and let's go with um, ah, let's go with Petey scoring the first goal. So I got three one Canucks. Elias Pettersson scoring the first goal. Give me your predictions and let me know if you think Spencer Martin will get claimed off of waivers. Shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and franchise members as well. And don't forget, and, and to all of you for supporting me on this channel, on the road to 10 Clay, don't forget if you're at the game tonight, come say hello, second intermission outside of section 317. In the meantime, subscribe if you'd like to, like this video if you'd like to, leave a donation, become a member, upgrade your membership if you'd like to, and definitely leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Your, your thoughts on Spencer Martin on waivers and predictions for tonight. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Enjoy the day, enjoy the game. God bless, and go Canucks go.